Hello guys, welcome back to Beyond the Realms, and a very sad day without question. Um, found out very early this morning, uh, the shocking, I mean totally shocking news that the Ultimate Warrior passed away. Um, it's just such a shock, you know, him doing a Hall of Fame which I have yet to see. I only saw pieces of it because I was at Cinema Wasteland this past weekend. Um, between doing that and then, you know, being at WrestleMania, which I did see, and then Monday night at Raw, which is just so eerie now. I mean, his speech on there was basically like him reading his own eulogy now in hindsight because he's talking about, you know, every man's heart stops, every man stops breathing. It's, you know... So, you know, carrying on their legacy through the people that they touched. And the next day, less than 24 hours later, he was dead. It's crazy. I can't believe it. Um, apparently, they were coming home from New Orleans, and they were at a hotel in Arizona, which doesn't make sense. I don't know why they'd be at a hotel in Arizona because he lives in Arizona. I don't know if they're just passing through from the airport or what, but uh, apparently he stopped, clutched his chest, fell over, and that was it. Like instant like it's really like i'll be totally surprised if it doesn't turn out to be a massive heart attack i mean nobody knows yet you know it's just happened and um so i don't know but I, i'm just i'm a shock guys like you know i'm not really one to let celebrity deaths get to me too much you know i mean i totally understand how they do but with that said, there are a few that have. Uh, one that immediately comes to mind for me is Dimebag Daryl. Uh, his death really affected me because he had such a huge impact on my life. And I have to say, guys, Ultimate Warrior is the same way. Um, this this is this one's a tough pill to swallow. And <laughs> honestly, you know, just thinking about it throughout the day today, I, I've I mean, I've been tearing up, man. It's, it's been hard. I've been tearing up and fighting back tears all day. And um, it just, it, it affects me. You know, Ultimate Warrior really was one of those defining moments of my youth. I mean, we all have them, you know, whether it's a person or, or, or seeing something, you know, that takes your, your, your life in a different direction in one way or another. And Ultimate Warrior was definitely one of those iconic moments in my life. Uh, the first time I saw him renting WrestleMania 4 on VHS, it's like, wow, man, this guy is crazy. You know, he beats Hercules. And then what really made me a fan was SummerSlam 88 when he just destroyed Honky Tonk Man. And I think there's a lot of people that are that same way. Um, but, you know, I was fortunate enough to see him wrestle live three different times against Randy Savage, against Andre the Giant, against Sergeant Slaughter in a steel cage. I mean, you know, those are memories I'll never forget. You know, seeing that whole arena just go completely nuts when he comes out and getting to live through that. I mean, you can all go back and revisit that now and stuff like this and then old VHS tapes like this. But experiencing that live, man, that was just, it's something you never forget. And, you know, the Warriors' message, you know, the intensity, the, you know, the drive, the passion, the power, you know, the always believe motto that he has, um, you know, always, you know, just being confident in yourself and just pushing yourself to the absolute most you can do and the most you can be and to be the absolute best you can be. I've just always, you know, I took that message and just ran with it throughout life. Now, you know, Warrior was, he was a crazy guy. I'm not going to kid myself here. He was crazy. He was insane. And some of the stuff he said, you know, was just really out there. And then he also had his homopho homophobic moments, you know. I mean, I'm not going to defend the guy in those areas. You know, he was crazy. He was a homophobe. But nobody's perfect, man. Everybody has their flaws. And there's no denying, you know, Warrior is just, he had a good message overall. And it was just powerful and strong, and I've just always been inspired by that. And, you know, I, I never quit liking the Warrior. Um, you know, I mean, it, he started doing YouTube videos a couple years ago. He, there's actually a YouTube channel here. I don't know if most of you know that or not. It's called uh, Mr. Ultimate Warrior. Look it up under the channels. You'll find it. But he's got about 40-some videos on there. And, um, you know, a lot of times he's talking about inspiration, you know, just about believing in yourself, about getting out there and, 
making a change for yourself, eating right, you know, and just bettering yourself. And some of the videos are just rambling craziness, you know, and him being all worked up after working out or him talking a bunch of smack about Hulk Hogan. Um, and really where it started, I, I believe the first video was right after Macho Man died. He had a long talk about Macho Man on there. Um, but there's also another cool video on there where he puts on the warrior paint. It's called Something in the Darkness or something. He's just looking at the camera and just snorting and stuff. I mean, nice little, you know, dose of nostalgia there with that video. But check out some of those videos. I mean, but like I said, you know, I've just always still kept up with the warrior and follow him. Always checked out his One Warrior Nation website. And, you know, this whole thing with the coming back, you know, making, you know, reconciling with Vince, with Triple H, and coming back and doing the Hall of Fame and all that. Man, I was just so thrilled that he's finally, you know, getting his just due. Because, you know, that whole self-destruction, the ultimate war, I mean, yeah, there, you know, there's probably some valid points on there, you know, but nobody really knows the whole story behind the scenes. And, you know, that was just a smear campaign. So it's nice to see him finally get this, get in the Hall of Fame, get his just due. But, man, to just die right after that, you know, I mean, it's, it's so tragic and just so unexpected because, you know, you, you see him so many, you saw him three times right in a row. You know, he's back on top. He's headlining the Hall of Fame. He's coming out, giving an awesome speech at Raw. And less than a day later, he's gone forever. You know, it's just wild. You know, the only thing I can, you know, look at this from a like a shining light perspective is at least he went out on top, man. I mean, I, I just can't think of a... A better way, really. I, it's kind of weird to even say that because it's not because <laughs> he's dead, you know. But I just can't think of a better way for somebody to go out, man. Because he went out, you know. He totally, you know, he got that reconciliation. He he was on good terms with everybody again, and he, you know, he got to say goodbye to his fans, and you know, his legacy was cemented with the Hall of Fame and everything else that happened over this past weekend. And to just pass away after that, man, that's just, God, it, what a shock. <laughs> what a total and complete shock. But you know what, man, Warrior, he will continue to inspire me, man. I mean, I know that may sound like complete bullshit, me talking about all that, but man, anybody that knows me knows. I, I'm not just talking about the Ultimate Warrior right now. I, I always bring up the Ultimate Warrior from time to time, and I'm not talking like years apart. I still bring up the Ultimate Warrior you know, several times throughout the year, and especially, you know, over this past two years watching his videos and stuff, I regularly talk about the Warrior. I am a big fan, and this is this is devastating, man. This really sucks, but he really will continue to inspire me, his message, what he stands for, and, you know, especially through things like this, man, which if you didn't see my review, I'm telling you, any fan, if even if you're just a mild fan of the Warrior, you have to get this. It's amazing, I you know, and I'm I actually I just watched all of it to review it, and but I'm gonna go back and check it out again soon. And tonight, you know, I finally am gonna have the time to sit down and watch the Hall of Fame induction. Um, and you know, I want to watch the whole thing, but I've got to just go right to his part, man. I have to see this, and I've, you know, I'm not afraid to admit, man. I, I fully expect to uh, break down watching it because, uh, like I said, I've been fighting back the tears all day. It's been tough, and. Um, yeah, it just sucks, man, because um, a big, huge piece of my childhood has been stripped away yet again. I mean, it happens, you know. It's, it's just very unfortunate. It sucks. Um, but, yeah, man, rest in peace, Warrior. Always believe, guys. Later.